The reaction of a weak acid with a strong base can be followed by what's called a titration curve, where we plot the pH of the solution and how that changes versus how much base we've added. Now, the reaction goes because the reaction of the weak acid and the strong base forms water. And the formation of the water is very favored. So this reaction lies very strongly towards the products. So let's follow that. Let's see what that reaction looks like. We have a typical titration curve plotted out here. And at several points in the titration curve, the pH is relatively easy to calculate. So we can often just calculate a point or two in the titration curve and then sketch it out using the fact that we know the overall shape has this long S kind of shape. So let's look at a few points in the titration curve. One, the end point, that's when we've added one mole of base for every mole of acid that was originally there. But we can also talk about here point A, the beginning of the titration, the initial point. That's when I have simply a solution of the weak acid. Haven't added any base yet. Here, the point B, right in between the initial and the end point. We can look at point C, right at the end point, and then well beyond the end point. If you think about what's happening at point A, it really is just a solution of a weak acid. And we already know how to calculate the pH around point A. Point B, let's say we're exactly halfway between the equivalence point, the end point, and the starting point. So we've converted half of the HA to A minus. And these concentrations are about equal. In fact, you could find a point directly in the center where they are equal. The HA concentration is equal to the A minus concentration. This region is called the buffer region when HA concentrations and A minus concentrations are about equal the solution resists changes in pH. And you can see the line is relatively flat in this region. That resistance to change in pH is called buffering. And the property of weak acids to act like buffers is very important. In fact, we'll spend an entire lesson just talking about buffers. If we go to point C, now I've converted all the HA into A minus. I've added a mole of OH minus for every mole of HA that I had, and I get to what's called the end point, or the equivalence point, or the stoichiometric point. All different names for the same thing, where you've added a mole of base for every mole of acid that you originally had. So these are the major points along the titration curve. Out here at point D, it's simply really a solution of just a strong base. You've used up all your weak acid. And now the pH rapidly changes because you continue to add strong base. And then the strong base dominates the pH. So these are the major points along a titration curve of a weak acid by a strong base.